everyone, welcome to On The Spot STEM. We'll be doing 2020 AMP 10A, number 13, which was also number 11 on the 12A. The problem reads, a frog sitting at the point 1, 2 begins a sequence of jumps, where each jump is parallel to one of the coordinate axes and has length 1, and the direction of each jump, up, down, right, or left, was chosen independently at random. The sequence ends when the frog reaches the side of the square with vertices 0, 0, 0, 4, 4, 4, and 4, 0. What are the probabilities that the sequence of jumps ends on a vertical side of the square? So first of all, a lot of people I think got tripped up by this problem because they pers they overcomplicated the situation and I think they just resorted to trying to do a state batch, which is essentially finding the probability that you could go from every point on the square and relating them in terms of equations. But realize that this problem is in the beginning half of both tests. And so that probably means that there's a nicest there, there's like a nice solution that MAA wanted to see. So before jumping into to anything, Let's just simulate what the frog can do. And so the frog, uh, he wants to get to one of these red vertical segments and he's not going to, he's going to stop with probability zero if he, um, gets to any of the green segments. So we don't want to, we don't want him to get to a green segment. So let's just consider what the frog can do from the point one, two. If he moves right, then he goes to the point two, two. And two, two is essentially the center of the square. And so if it's the center of the square, then the probability that he reaches a horizontal segment is obviously going to be the same as the probability that he reaches a vertical segment. So the probability over here is equal to one half. If he moves down, then the probability that he reaches a horizontal segment versus a vertical segment might not be apparent right away, but notice that you can draw a line from this point to the vertical segment and it's three units away and you can join a line from this point to the horizontal segment up there and it's also three units away. It's one unit away from the bottom horizontal segment and one unit away from the left vertical segment. And so essentially we can pair the left vertical and bottom horizontal and we can pair the top horizontal and the right vertical. And since it's equidistant from these pairs and they both consist of one vertical and one horizontal, that means they have the same probability, it has the same probability of reaching a horizontal segment as it has a vertical segment if it starts at that point. And so what that means is that that probability is also one half. So now let's consider what happens if the frog moves up. Well, if he moves up over here, then he's equidistant from this top uh, horizontal segment as he is from the left vertical segment, and he's equidistant from the bottom horizontal segment and the right vertical segment. So that again means it's the, it's the exact same situation as if he moved down. The probability that it eventually reaches a vertical segment is the same as the probability that it eventually reaches, reaches a horizontal segment after that. So that probability is one half. Now if the frog moves left, then it hits the vertical segment of the square with probability one. And so in final, our answer is equal to one fourth times one plus one half plus one half plus one half because it has one fourth probability of moving in each direction. And this is equal to one fourth times one plus three over two, which is equal to five eighths. Going to our answer choices, we see that five eighths corresponds to answer choice B. So we mark that and we're done. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We're gonna be uploading a lot of AMC 10A and 12A videos in the next few days. And we'll also be uploading the AMC 10B videos after next week after the test.